Five years ago, we bought an old cottage. It's full of texture and florals and all of the things we love. I needed a new piece of artwork for over our bed. So it's back to my vintage pile and I'm interested in that frame. So JR removed this lovely lady and using the new IOD chrysanthemum stamp, some quick dry spackle and a watercolor chalk paint technique. I'm gonna make artwork that has all the texture that I'm looking for. The first order of business is to cut a new piece of masonite for that frame. I'm using a product called DAP Fast Dry Premium Spackling. I like it because it dries fast and it allows me to get the maximum texture that I'm looking for. I spread it directly over my masonite. It's like frosting a cake. Once you have your surface covered and you have the texture that you want, um, this is where you've got to work quickly. Have your stamp ready to go. A few years before we bought our cottage, we found this old carriage house door. I knew someday I'd be able to use it. And sure enough, it became the back wall of our bedroom in the new cottage. We kept the window intact and I use that window as a place to display different posters or to hang various changing artwork over it. Don't worry, that old door got lots of cleaning, scrubbing, and many coats of poly over top of it to seal in the chips. Whenever I use one of the larger format IOD stamps, I like to keep them right on their backing sheet and then cut them apart I find that it just makes them easier to use later on. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on While the spackle has been freshly applied and it's still wet, I press my stamps into that spackle. I want to make sure that I create a really good impression. When I lift it, it makes this wonderful stamped impression. It might even pull up a little bit of the spackle, but that's okay because I think that just adds to the texture. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Just continue to lay out your desired pattern. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Since I'm working with a wet compound, it wouldn't be appropriate to use the reusable masks to layer stamps. So I lay the stamp down, in this case a leaf, next to where I want it to layer out from underneath and just impress part of the leaf. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. Now I let the spackle compound dry completely. Go ahead and brush on a coat of your favorite chalk paint. In this case, I'm using Debbie's DIY chalk paint with a little bit of water because I really want to make sure that I get my paint down into those textured cracks and crevices. Let your paint dry completely. Now, in order to bring out all the detail of the chrysanthemum stamp, I've mixed a glaze using a little bit of gray chalk paint and a little bit of brown chalk paint into a glaze medium. Brush it over the entire surface and then wipe it away with a damp cloth to get the desired effect that you want. I thin the glaze medium with water just to make sure that I can really get it down into all of that texture, all of the stamp impressions.
Now it's time to add some color. I thinned down my chalk paint to a very, very watery consistency. Then start to fill in those leaves and those chrysanthemum petals using whatever colors you want. I was going for a very washed out watercolor effect. You can vary the intensity of your watercolor by adding more or less water as you desire. Then I'll add a few pops of some bright color just for fun. You are my sunshine on a rainy day. You are the one who takes my breath away. As a final step, I coated my painting with a simple clear polycrylic. You could also wax it. I think my artwork turned out great. It had just the kind of texture that I wanted for our bedroom wall. It looks great against the barn board and it was really fun to use the IOD chrysanthemum stamp in a whole new way. If you don't have a stockist, you can find all of the supplies that I used at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. If you want to see more awesome tutorials, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It's been a